it honestly has just made me like fall more in love with Chris, which I didn't think was possible. Date night still exists for you and Chris. You hire a babysitter or call your mom up and, and still make time for that? Um, yeah, when my mom's in town, we try, but uh, we need to do it more. We tend to bring Dutton a lot of places. I just love being with our little family. And so when we go to dinner, we now eat at like 4.45 in the afternoon. If we, if we go, that's our date night. And we end up just bringing Dutton and he actually loves it. But I definitely think that Chris and I <clears throat> need to make it a priority to, to do just us. Um, obviously we get that a long time at night when Dutton goes to sleep, but it would be nice to, you know, now that he's not an infant anymore to get a consistent, you know, nightly or even every other week kind of date night situation on the books. Um, but we haven't done like a go-to babysitter and we don't have a nanny. So um, I think first and foremost, just finding that person when my mom's not here that we totally yeah. trust. And then I can actually like enjoy my time away with my husband, but we're definitely going to work on that balance situation. That's our, that's our priority right now. What's the best part of seeing Chris as a dad? Okay. And what, what are some of the hardships that you guys have had to, you know, give up or like date night? Yeah. So Chris is a very hands-on dad. Um, especially as Dutton's gotten older, I think he's gotten more confident. You know, I think when Dutton was a newborn and I was breastfeeding, I, I don't know if Chris felt super confident. I don't know if he felt like there was a lot he could do yet in those situations, but now he is so hands-on. Dutton loves hanging out with him. Um, so it honestly has just made me like fall more in love with Chris, which I didn't think was possible, but he just is such a great dad and really prioritizes um, his family, even with a job that can be a little bit crazy and, and take him away from our home quite often with touring and stuff, yeah. he still manages to prioritize us. I never feel like we're second fiddle at all. Yeah. Um, I think Chris, Chris is very laid back, which at first made me a little nervous because he like doesn't worry yeah. about anything. And I'm like, okay, no, no, I need you to worry about this though. Like he could fall off the changing right. table or like fall off the, like you can't leave him unattended because he's just so laid back, which again, I love that about him because it makes me- it balances. It balances us out a lot, but I'm like, okay, but I need you to sometimes think about the worst case situation when you're watching him because especially he's close to walking and like, yeah, I feel like he could just get into anything. So we've we've gotten better about that. But I, I mean, he just is truly like the best dad, and it's been so fun to watch. That's so sweet. Is there? Does he sing to Dutton? And does Dutton have a favorite song of his yet? We don't have a favorite song. Anything that Chris sings, though, like if like I think Dutton now recognizes his voice, his singing voice too. And like when a song comes on and Chris is singing, Dutton starts saying "dad, dad," which is so sweet. But um, Dutton loves music in general, but especially loves the guitar. So anytime Chris picks up the acoustic guitar and like just plays music to him at home, Dutton is just like eyes locked in on the guitar, like obsessed. So I think we're gonna have to get him like a little kid's guitar soon and maybe get him lessons once he's old enough because he is just like enamored by the guitar. It's very cute. That's amazing. That's so sweet. I know you mentioned baby number two. Is it in the near distant future? What are you guys thinking? <laughs> We'll see. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think it's like too distant. Like I think we want our kids to be close together and Chris has a twin brother. So obviously very close in age. I mean, minutes apart. And then I have three siblings. All We're all about two years apart. So um, I definitely think that we want that for Dutton if that, if we're able to hopefully. And yeah, that's the plan. So sooner than later, I shall say. Okay, great. Are you the type of person who just wants to keep trying till you have a girl too? Like, are you going to not be totally oh. satisfied? <laughs> Don't tell Chris that. But, <laughs> no, I honestly love having a boy though. Like, yeah, I didn't know. I mean, I have brothers, but um, I truly have loved having a boy. So if we end up trying three, two more times and end up with three boys, like I truly would be so happy. Yeah. Um, but yes, I would love a little girl. <laughs> it is, a, I mean, the clothes are just better. They just are. <laughs> like I need a little, you know, 
I don't know, like I have such a great relationship with my mom and my sister and mm-hmm. especially now that we're older and, you know, we go to lunch and go get manicures and pedicures and not to say that Dunn won't want to do that with me. Maybe he will, but <laughs> it's definitely a special relationship that I treasure. So I think about like me as I get older and as my kids get older, I'm like, oh, I want that though. But again, I wouldn't be, if we ended up having four boys, I I could also see myself as a boy mom. I think totally. I would I would thrive too, so. You guys, whatever the plans are. Yeah, whatever the plans. Um, is it three the magic number? Have you guys discussed a, n- a number that you want? So three, for whatever reason, anytime I was asked growing up, I always said three. And I still feel like maybe three, like there's a reason why, just innately I've always wanted three. Yeah. Chris is a, a two person. Like he's like, no, 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 we're not having three. But I feel like maybe I could talk him into a third. But we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, if we get there. Are you a, the type of person who likes being pregnant? Because I am not. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say I like loved it, no. I didn't hate it, but I had a really first, I had a really hard first trimester with Dutton. Like I was mm-hmm. so sick. Oh my gosh, I like, just even thinking about it, I'm like, ooh. Yeah. So I did not enjoy that first trimester. Um, and then, yeah, no, I, like I would prefer not to be pregnant than pregnant, yes. Yeah. So we're here to talk about Wyndham and your partnership and Flight Attendance Day. So tell me a little bit about this partnership and how it came about. Yes, this entire initiative, again, is to appreciate flight attendants for uh, International Flight Attendant Day on May 31st. So I will be submitting my sister, but basically it's this big digital campaign that Wyndham is doing and they have graciously let me be a part of. But um, anyone between now and May 31st, if you feel like a flight attendant has gone the extra mile, go to windup.com slash extra mile and you can submit a flight attendant. You can also self-submit. So if you're a flight attendant and you're like, I, I've gone the extra mile, absolutely self-submit. Um, but basically you just submit like a photo and a little blurb about why they've gone the extra mile. And then they will be entered to win a seven night getaway to any Wyndham hotel, um, which is so cool. So definitely do that if you feel like you're on a flight and someone has just been like wonderful or you have a family member or whatever. Um, and then also on May 31st, on actual International Flight Attendance Day, 1,000 flight attendants who check into a participating Wyndham hotel will receive a little card. In fact, I think I have one right here, just an example of what it looks like. They'll get a little card and it will have points that they'll automatically get they can, they're good for either um, a gift card to like a popular retailer, like Starbucks, I believe is one of them, uh, or some of the cards have weekend getaways. So free weekend stay at a participating Wyndham hotel. So I think one of the uh, hotels that will be handing out cards like that on the 31st um, is San Diego, which is a place that a lot of crews stay um, in that city. So definitely look out for those little cards, but make sure if you love a flight attendant, submit them for the grand uh, sweepstakes. 